Welcome to another unboxing. I personally am of the philosophy that expensive products should come with expensive accessories already, but it almost seems like it works the opposite way, doesn't it, folks? Where the more expensive a product is, the more the manufacturer kind of goes, ah, it's okay, they can afford it, don't worry about it. So this guy right here, this is my NX, whatever the heck it's called, FS700 camera, it's like 8,500 bucks with the lens kit. Didn't come with a carrying case. No, I have to spend another hundred bucks or two hundred dollars or whatever this thing ended up costing me on a carrying case because I have to take that camera with me to CES, which I am, of course, super, super excited about. So let's have a look at what Pelican has to say for themselves, as if no one's ever heard of a Pelican case anyway. All right, Pelican cases, what are they good for? Hua! A lot of stuff, da, 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 da. okay. Automatic pressure purge valve, one-way membrane that releases air pressure but keeps moisture out. So yeah, they're waterproof. Easy open double throw latches, secondary movement works like a pry bar to open with a light pull. You know it's a genuine Pelican case by that unique dual band design. Metal reinforced padlock protectors for added strength and extra security. Pol polymer O-rings provide a watertight seal for ultimate protection. So basically, these are the way to transport super expensive, sensitive, fragile equipment, long distances, in rough conditions, with no risk to them. Now, <laughs> it's, you know, it's funny, because I harp on packing materials. You know, I always say, oh, it's gonna have a soft foam and blah, 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 blah. For something like this, I'd actually be disappointed if it did have any packing materials inside the case. Because that, to me, would be an indication that the manufacturer doesn't think it's suitable as a shipping container. So you'll be pleased to see there are absolutely no packing materials whatsoever in the box for my Pelican 1510 case. What else do they say? Guarantees its products for a lifetime against breakage or defects in workmanship. They're guaranteed to be watertight to a depth of 3.3 feet for 30 minutes, unless otherwise stated. Does not cover lamps or batteries, etc., etc., etc. No abuse. Clean and inspect the O-ring regularly. What else we got to say for ourselves here? Metal reinforced padlock protector, 17-inch locking retractable extension handle, non-slip rubberized handles, and automatic pressure purge valve. Heavy-duty urethane wheels. So here it is. All right. So what do we got here? There's our there's our heavy-duty handle which has a rubberized bottom for more comfort when you're carrying it. So it's got a little bit of softness to it, but not much. You can see there's thick, thick metal bolts through not one, but I mean, even if one of these breaks off, it's not going anywhere. So I'd expect to be able to basically swing this thing around by its handle without any diff, well, it's heavy, but you know, other than that, without any difficulty. Here's our extending carrying handle which again is using an incredibly rugged sort of construction. There's no like telescoping metal sliders. This is just like a spring, a spring loaded thing here that fits into a notch at the bottom and it's not going anywhere. Like I could put all my weight on this and it's not going anywhere, just like that. All right, so you can lock that into place and you can carry it by that if you want. On the side, you've got phenomenally rugged looking hinges. I'm actually feeling pretty good about this purchase, even though it's basically a, you know, I think I saw the invoice for it when I was unboxing it. It's like, you know, a couple hundred dollar hunk of plastic, essentially. How much was it? Pear stone, pear stone. Pelican case, yeah, 140 bucks, $140 piece of plastic, but I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, looking at stuff like this and how it's got nice long metal rods that go through, you know, one, two, three, like a triple hinge sort of design here. Okay, the wheels look like wheels, so nothing out of the ordinary there. And here we go, here's the main carrying handle. So this guy is again, uh, rubber bottomed, and then again, it's got sort of two pieces of metal are two pieces of plastic interlocked with three on either side. There's those metal reinforced padlock spots, not one, but two of them. So in theory, if you were gonna use this as like, if you were gonna um, check it at the airport or whatever else, it should be harder to cut your padlocks off. And uh, let's go ahead and see, there's the front. So there's some chick in a wetsuit, over 40 sizes, automatic pressure. Where did where'd that pressure valve go? Where is that? Here's the bottom. Looks like it could take some sliding without any difficulty. I didn't see the pressure valve. Oh yeah, there it is. Hiding right under my hand, genuine Pelican case. All right, let's open this baby up and see what we got. Okay, so that, okay. Ah, there we go. So it latches kind of twice. Okay, so it goes down once, but then comes up twice. 
Okay, neat. And it comes with super thick foam inside, which you can actually totally customize. Okay, so thank you for your purchase, warranty card or something like that, special instructions, humidity, o-ring, cleaning instructions, solid foam. Comes with a solid foam. Follow these steps to customize your layout. Lay out all the items on top of the foam. So I, for example, would take something like my camera and I'd put it here. Uh, it's obvious I'm not going to get my shotgun mic in there at the same time. Using chalk, trace around the items to create an outline. Leave at least one inch of foam between the items and the walls of the case. So you can't go too close to the walls. They don't want you to just, you know, eat it all up here. So remove components from the foam with the foam protruding, blah, blah, blah. Use an 8-inch electric knife for a very sharp blade and begin cutting. When you simply, if a mistake is made, use a rubber cement or spray adhesive to repair the foam. Remove chalk outline with a damp cloth, blah, 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 blah. We recommend gluing the cut section. So basically, uh, this one seems to come with little squares. So you could just pull out the squares, although some of them have solid foam, so you would have to cut that. You can see you can remove however many squares you want to make your equipment fit. And it goes all the way down the entire depth of the case. So you can see these are cut all the way through or perforated all the way through. So you can do whatever you need to do to get whatever gear you want packed into here. And then there's one more layer of foam at the bottom for the ultimate in protection. So I've heard that this Pelican case is a good fit for this particular camera. So we'll have to figure out how exactly it goes in there. This piece comes off. It's just a matter of going like this and removing it. And then this piece comes off. So it looks like it's going to fit in there just fine, kind of right there. And then some accessories can go around it. And we should be good to go for our trip to CES. Thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.